Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna show you how to fry up some duck strips. And they are good, tender, juicy, not gamey. So stay tuned and we'll show you how to get that done. Okay, now this is a two day process. So, of course, the first thing we gotta do is pull the breast out of the duck. This morning, we got some mallards a gadwall, and one of my favorites, a couple of wood duck. Now, out of all these, the, the gadwall is gonna be a little, a little bit muskier flavor. The mallard is gonna be a little bit tougher, but we got a way to fix that. So, let's go ahead and pull these breasts out. What I like to do, I'm sure y'all know how to breast duck, but I like to get my finger right in that crease and just pull that skin away and part it right down that breastbone and expose the breast so I can get to it, just like that. I'll go down the line here and do all of them the same way. You don't have to pull the feathers off the breast of duck. I don't know why people do that, it don't make no sense. Unless you want the skin, but if you want the skin, just pluck the whole thing, make a gumbo. Now, now that we have the breast exposed, we're just going to cut it out with a knife. What I like to do, I start with the head of the duck away from me. I'll go right left side, right down that breastbone, then make another cut across the top diagonal, and then just like laying a fish, there you go. Go up down in the bag. We'll get, we'll get rid of the feathers later. Then I spin her around. Do the same thing. I'm gonna cut down the breast, breast bone. Another cut across the top. I'll try that. All right, step one complete. Now we're gonna take these breasts, go clean them up, and I'm gonna show you step two on how to chicken fry duck breasts. All right, we got our duck breasts. Next thing we need to do, get the feathers off of them. Simple enough. I'll just dump them in a bowl, move them to the sink, turn on the cold water, Next step, we're going to take our duck breast, we're going to tenderize them. Now, I like to use this style of tenderizer, it's got little knives in there, pokes a lot of holes in the duck breast, shreds all the sinews, tendons and whatnot that's in there, there's not much. But that mallard, he's tough, so this is crucial, and it's crucial to get that, that gamey flavor out of your duck. So, I'm going to put about 12 licks 
on each side or until it gets flat. thing we got to do is get them in the first overnight brine which is salt water that's it so I'm gonna take my bowl <clears throat> with my tenderized breast I'm gonna go back to the sink and I'm gonna circulate that water until it turns clear again All right, now our tenderized breasts are clean I got as much blood as I can get at them so now I'm gonna transfer them to a ziplock put them on their initial brine which consists of salt and water salt and water brine overnight make sure you double bag it because I've had some bad experiences for that not double bag so, a bit of salt have been tenderized. They are in the bag. They are soaking in salt water overnight. The next day, you take those ducks out of that bag and you cut them into strips. However big you want them. I like big ducks. I cut them in three strips. Long ways. Uh, wood ducks, smaller ducks, cut them into two strips. And then put them in a bag with buttermilk. That's what we got here. We got our tenderized fingers in the buttermilk, put them back in the fridge another night. So you got two nights of marinade, two nights of brine. And on the third day, you get to enjoy your duck strips. Actually smell pretty good. Buttermilk a little sour. All right, so take your strainer. Same. Just gonna move these around a little bit. Then we take our big silver bowl. We're gonna pull these out of there. Put them into the silver bowl. Real hot. 
Okay, so we got our strips tenderized that have been soaking in buttermilk overnight. Next thing we're going to put in here, you're probably thinking, why would you do that? I thought the same thing the first time I did it until I tried it. Sour cream. Be generous. There's a lot of ducks in here. We're feeding. Pretty big cream today. Sour cream creates a very good batter along with buttermilk. Very crispy. Very good. So we're just going to mix that in there. In and amongst the fingers. Real good. I got this flame wide open, just piping hot. So, oh yeah, we're ready. For the, for the pot this big, I can do about 20 at a time. You don't want to fry them long. As soon as they start floating, get them out of there. As soon as they start floating, get them out. They're turning good, dark brown. What's that finger? That finger size. What do you call it? Duck finger. Duck finger. Have you had them yet? I had them last year. Okay. I had none yet. This is your first one. Y'all don't This way and the little teal wraps. The blue wraps. Why do you have that? The teal. Teal's the king on that. We don't realize how good it is. I don't want much of this. I ain't going to hide it. You didn't. You didn't know about it. We got plenty of them. A couple weeks ago. Huh? Now I didn't know about it. Now we didn't. We didn't last year. Yeah. Now we got plenty of them. 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 Now we got plenty like crispy, crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. crunchy. Yeah. tender, man. If I come, I'm going They're delicious. Try it out. You'll like it. You'll like it. We'll see you next time. You got to have your call, bro. Mm. Oh, that's good.